Kana girl say she want marry me yo. I hope say she sabi kuku wate. Hope your love go sweet past she talk. Baby girl I say. Hi guys, Hello. welcome back to our channel. We've been missing for a thousand years, but we're yeah, back now. Been a bit busy. Um, Bob's lost some weight. Bob, say hey. Say hey. So today we've got um, the process of getting engaged to me, basically. Jordan's gonna tell you yeah. his story. So we'll start from <laughs> from when I asked your dad's permission mm -hmm. to the actual engagement, engagement. process or a knock-in process, is what they call it. Isn't yeah. It? Okay. So, right, yeah, Let's so get started. firstly, it all started. Um, we was in Ghana, mm -hmm. went on a holiday there, and so we had to have separate rooms. Right. <laughs> My dad wouldn't let us um, stay in the same room. He said we don't qualify to stay in the same room, so we so, had them separate rooms. Yeah, so I was sharing with <laughs> Roslyn's brother who snores really <laughs> loud. So, you know, <laughs> every night I was waking up to him snoring. Which I thought, you know, this can't is not good. Can't keep going on like can't this. Can't keep going on like this. Um, also, I never see Roslyn's dad on it on a, on his own really, because I'm always with Roslyn. So I thought I might as well ask him while we're here. I can, Ew. you know, get Bobby just doggy. Just, this is okay. So I thought I'd ask him in Ghana, so at that, that point I could have some, like, just ask him one-on-one -on -one about Roslyn being there. So I thought, you know, being British, I thought I would ask him, he'd be like, yes or no. He'd probably say yes, because he's let me come on holiday with him. Um, could you right, that? Yeah. Um, he'd probably say yes, because he's let me come on holiday with him. And then, you know, then I can go and buy a ring and ask Roslyn. However, that wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I took him downstairs. I asked him. I said, "Oh, you know, I was a bit nervous, but I just said, um, you know, I want to talk to you about something." So we went downstairs, and then I said, "I want to marry Rosalyn." Mm -hmm. um, and he was like, "Oh, all right." Um, Does that well, mean he expected it? Didn't he? he didn't, because mm -hmm. apparently, which he told me later on, this is not the way to ask. A Ghanai, Ghanai. A gen gentleman? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to ask someone's Ghanai dad. Ghanai father. Yeah. Um, so well, he said, he said I'd be in big trouble if that was how I'd done it. But your dad's quite traditional, isn't he? Very. But then obviously he's understanding because obviously Jordan's not from Ghana. Yeah. So you can't really expect him to know the whole process when we've never been told. So, so yeah. <laughs> Do you know what, I mean? what he said to me, anyway, was um, I'll think about it and get back to you. I was like, all right, okay then. He's like, I need to ask, you know, Rosin's mum. Uh, and just think about it, um, and then we'll get back to you. So I was like, all oh, right, okay. So literally the conversation was about two minutes, then we went went to sleep, went to, to bed. You know I... when he said that, though, that, at that point, how long do you think he was going to take to give it So up? I thought, I asked him, say we went on holiday for about two weeks, mm -hmm. I asked him sort of at the start of it, so I thought by the end of the holiday, he would tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he didn't. But my dad had um, other plans. No, so... <laughs> You know, a month went by and I was thinking, all right, well, I was going to get married anyway. Yeah. Um, plus, I can't be coming on holiday, sharing with my brother, waking up in the night to, to him snoring. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's not it's not a small snore. It's a very loud It's snore. one that goes through the rooms. Like, you can hear it yeah. all over. Loud, loud snoring. But he's a good guy, so <laughs> I let him off. Um, yeah, so end of the holiday went by. Um, I, I say a month went by. And I wasn't too worried because I hadn't got a ring yet, so it gave me a bit of time to to oh, to buy what to buy a ring basically, yeah. yeah. And then I took some. Uh, me and your dad went. Um, we went out to mm -hmm. take some um, flower um, trees, like wood, to the dump to oh, throw yeah. stuff in the dump. So it was just me and him on his own. I thought oh, now he's going to tell me. <laughs> now he's going to say. Yes or no? Oh, this was when we were back in England, right? This was, yeah, sorry, this was when we come back. Yeah. This was a month after we'd been on holiday. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we took <laughs> some stuff to the dump. I was like, yeah, he's going to probably tell me now. And he goes to me, oh, Jordan, um, before we got in the car, he said, oh, Jordan, don't worry, I haven't forgotten your question. And I was like, all oh, right, okay, cool, good. So he'll probably tell me <laughs> during this journey. But he didn't. <laughs> he didn't tell me. Um, so we come back, and I was thinking, um, I don't know what's going on here. Is, it, uh, is he? Maybe he has forgot. 
Because mm. he hasn't got my number. Mm -hmm. And he can't tell me in front of Rosalyn because... Well, and he can't even tell me to pass a message on, right? Yeah, so he has to tell me. Um, so I waited and waited and then I think it, three months went by. Mm -hmm. And at this point, <laughs> I got the ring. So the ring was, yeah. the ring was ready. But I couldn't, I couldn't give it to Rosalyn. I couldn't ask her to propose. So I was waiting for the, for, for the dad to give, you the, give me the answer. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, I was thinking, do you know what? Maybe he doesn't even want me to marry him. <laughs> No, because obviously, no, it's been three months yeah. since you asked, and he's, and he's not giving you an answer. But he had to, you know, make sure I was the right one. So, I was, in this time, I was, you know, doing everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> everything right. You know, even more so. And, um, yeah, so he, um, he eventually, I asked, because Rosin's brother knew about this, and I just messaged him. I said, um, I sent a picture of the ring. I said, I've got the ring ready. Just waiting on your dad. What, what's, what's he gonna say? Like, it's, um, it's been a little while now. And then he said, oh, I'll ask him for you. And I think him asking his dad, or your prompted dad, him it prompted him. And then, then, he, then he gave me a text. He said, look, Jordan, I thought about it. You know, I prayed over it. And <laughs> you, you, can, you can ask Rosalind. But I can't just go and ask her the, the way that, you know, I, I thought we would do. Go down one yeah, knee. Yeah, go down on one yeah. knee. I well, can do that. Yeah, he's only that. I can do that, but that doesn't mean we're engaged. I have to do in the, Papa's eyes. In Papa's <laughs> eyes, um, I have to go through. Well, not go through. I had to do the basically the Ghanaian yeah. tr traditional Ghanaian engagement sort of thing. The, the uh, knocking. knocking, knocking, bringing the gifts, yeah. the ceremony, things like that. So he said, "Oh, I can go and ask Rosalie." <laughs> oh, what, what is your problem, mate? <laughs> I think he just scratches himself too much. Stupid dog. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I had to do the Ghanaian traditional Ghanaian process. Mm -hmm. um, so I could ask Roslyn, you know, normally get down on one knee, give her the ring, but it wasn't official. So I had to do the the process. But to do the process, Roslyn would have to know. That I mean, you kind of have to know what's going on, wouldn't you? Yeah. So, but I mean, you did still do the go yeah. Down so when I went down on one knee, I um just invited uh, Rosin round to my parents. Invited <laughs> around to my parents' house. Don't feel embarrassed. I invited her around to my parents' house and um yeah, just then his mum made us a really nice um, meal just, dinner. Yeah, and I think um you know I just sort of surprised Rosalyn with it. She wasn't expecting it, but it was only me and her in, in the in the living room. So, it, you know, it was just quite simple, really. You know, it wasn't anything. I'm not. I don't. Oh yeah, I don't like anything really extravagant. Yeah, to be sort of person just I am. more um, simple things. Yeah, will make me happy. It's so. just more. And I'm not just saying that. Yeah. I actually mean that. It was just, um, just nice and sort, of, sort of special mm -hmm. to us anyway. Um, so we done that. We arranged a date with your dad. Yeah. But he wasn't allowed to wear the ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was basically so Jordan proposed or whatever, um, or going down on one knee, and I'm, my dad said I wasn't allowed to wear the ring yet until we've done the traditional engagement. So I had to wait like another month, I think. Hmm. It was going to be longer than that. And I was like, come on, guys, like I want to wear my ring. So we waited like a month, um, done the traditional, and hmm. then I could wear my ring. Yeah, because he said also he <laughs> said. Um, Although I've asked her, he wasn't there, he hasn't seen it, yeah. none of his family has seen it. So who's to say So, so who's to say it even happened? Mm. It's like, fair enough, look, I'm open-minded, I'll, I'll happily do the engagement thing. I was quite looking forward to it. I, on the other hand, wasn't. So I, I was looking forward to it, Rosin wasn't looking forward to it, but I, I love all that sort of stuff, so I was, um, <laughs> I got my, you know, Ghanaian outfit, yep. didn't I? Got well, that on. bought it from Ghana for us, got, so we're bought matching. me it, um, you can put some pictures at the end yeah, or something. Yeah, I do that. Uh, Rosalind had her one on the match it. Actually, didn't it? it I didn't wear it, yeah. They dressed me like a traditional African princess. Yeah. So that was cute. Um, there's a picture on Instagram, so have a look at it. Check the Insta. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I was looking forward to it, but I didn't have a clue what was going on. Like, I did not know what was going on. Like, mm. every. Because your auntie and uncle came from Ghana, and then uh, like a week before, your dad had kind of told me what I needed to do. He said, mm -hmm. I need to. Basically, I need to pay Dari. No, he didn't even say that first. No, we sort of found out. So I have to give the brothers mom, money. But I have to give all the brothers money. She's got three brothers, so <laughs> it's not cheap. 
So my brother's money, <laughs> so my brother's mom's money, money, your mum's money, your dad's money. Drinks. Then I had to buy them all drinks. Um, mm. Then I had you to... You get me like underwear, jewellery. Suitcase. Um, suitcase. Bible. Bible, yeah. Um, what else did you get? You got me some clothes as some well. Some clothes. And I obviously so presented with the was, ring. There were so many things. Um, and I had then... Like a day, I got it all sorted. Then a day before, I think your auntie told you, no, maybe a few days before, your auntie told your dad, oh, he has to pay the dowry as well. Yeah. So, so then, well, we nearly missed that out. Yeah, so then your, <laughs> your dad told me there's, a, there's another thing that I um, had to pay, which was mm -hmm. dowry, mm -hmm. which is fine, you know, I, I got it already. But then on the day, Still, there was little things like your auntie would say, oh, you need to give a thank you envelope with each drink yeah. that I give to, to them. And also, I need... I had your uncle... No, your, one of one of Rosalind's uncles... Representing... Re representing my family. family. So, because we don't really know what was going on... I didn't really know what was going on. My so dad can't... Sort of led it and all that. Yeah, yeah, lead it. But your uncle would go to... Basically, me and my family, with all these presents and gifts, knock on Rosalind's door. They would invite us in. And all my family was sitting on one side, all Rosalind's family was sitting on the other side. So I just brought my family. And so I had, <laughs> I had like, yeah. loads of empty chairs on my side. Yeah. Rosalind had loads of people, like more, than, standing. more than double of what I had. Even some of them had to sit on my side. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't know what to, who to bring. <laughs> I just brought my brothers and sisters and my mum and dad and my nan. Which, <laughs> and Rosalind, you know, had so many people. Um, <laughs> her, all her aunties and uncles. It was good though, it was a good process. And cousins. I mean, I was, I bit to begin with, I didn't really want to do it, but um, after going through it, it was actually fun. Really yeah, enjoyed it. Was it was fun. Um, I, I did enjoy it as well. Really nice process. So then, yeah, we had my representative who would talk as if he was part of my family, he said, oh, us, us, Edwards. Uh, Edwards is uh, like this or like that, and they've done some negotiating. Mm. I wasn't allowed to see anything at the start, then they brought me out, and then. You know, I had to shake everyone's hands. And then they brought Ruth out, which is Rosalind's sister, and was like, oh, is this the one you want to marry? So I had to pull the uh, veil off, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, no, that's, uh, that's, that's not the one. Mm -hmm. Then they brought Rosalind out, and um, And I was I the one was the he one. wanted yeah. to marry. Yep. <laughs> uh, that was quite... It's different to the norm. It's, yeah, and obviously for, for most African people, Ghanaian people, you'll understand it's sort of like a traditional thing to go with it. So for an Englishman, it's different. Um, for anyone that's not in our culture, it's different. But you know, it was it was something good that Jordan it was embraced funny, yeah. quite well and enjoyed it. So it was definitely something to remember. I like, think the part that we can definitely remember is my dad making Jordan wait like three months three, yeah, to was, know whether he can marry me or not. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was the the whole Ghanaian process. We had a little party after. Yeah. Um, again, I didn't even know what that was going to be like, so I didn't really invite any of my mates. Though I invited a few of them, mm. but um, once yeah. again, I swarmed the whole place. Yeah. Groups. It's mad, so... <laughs> I never struggled to get me. When it, so. when it comes to the wedding, I'll, I'll know that I'm going to invite everyone that I know. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> massive wedding. To try and, like, balance out the yeah. amount of peeps I bring in. But, yeah, so that was our process. Of, that was um, the process. And just getting engaged. If just anyone just engaged. else out there who doesn't know what to... Um, what might happen marrying or in get, getting engaged to a Ghanaian girl, then just be prepared, you know, it's a good process, do you know what I mean? It's enjoyable, it's something different to the out of the norm, like I'm saying. Yeah, so, and then if you find someone who's worth it, then definitely do then it. Then go for it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we hope you enjoyed our little mini story. As we said, we're back now, so keep looking out for our videos, and uh, we'll see you in our next video. Yeah, bye. Bye, guys. Bye.